getting internet. That noise you hear above me is actually Boo trying to eat food. <sighs> Silly kitties. So I just finished my night of role playing. Uh, it's my D and D campaign, the dining campaign. I've talked about it in a previous video. Uh, I want to talk for a bit as to why I role play. Um, I mean, it's it's a hobby. Uh, I suppose everybody needs a hobby or something like that, but. That's not why I roleplay. I actually have multiple hobbies. I used to act, I do photography, videography, those types of things, but I roleplay because I need it. Uh, it's... I have a very active imagination. It's... I've had somebody describe to me my imagination is very similar to that of a younger child. You know, a lot of younger children, when they're five, six, when they can speak and generally speak well enough, but they also have these imaginations that come up with these outlandish stories. And yeah, that's basically what I'm like as an adult. Um, my brain tends to think of a lot of these things from time to time. Especially when I'm stressed or trying to relax even, it just comes up. So I roleplay to get these stories out of my head, basically. The Denning campaign was one of the stories that was stuck in my head for a while. The idea of a group of people trying to colonize a, what's effectively to them a brand new world full of dangerous mysteries, excitement, adventure, whole nine yards but at the same time eliminating a lot of the problems with colonization that happened on Earth. Namely, there isn't a native people that they're disrupting. The, these are literally empty lands rather than ones that humanity, and the white man, so to speak, decides is empty because those other people aren't really human. Those things scare me, and I... Sorry, I'm just noticing something that's slipped behind my bookshelf. There we go. There's a USB-C cable. Hi, Yasun. Mara, wanna join me? No, okay. So, I got a bit off topic. Ow. So, uh, why do I role play? I want these stories out of my head and I want somebody else to enjoy them. I from middle school, high school, college, I had a lot of stories that I kept coming up with various fantastic situations. Some of them were realistic, some of them are completely outlandish, some of them are far-flung futures. You get the idea. It's lots and lots of storytelling, and uh, my stories aren't perfect. They're missing parts. They, Some of them have some unfortunate oh what's the term um unfortunate implications that i certainly didn't intend so my way of dealing with that is to run a game i bring parts of a story and let everybody else bring parts of their stories and merge everything together and it's effectively role-playing that's right as soon so I roleplay because I want to construct stories. Not necessarily just my stories, but everybody's stories. And it's really important to me. And it's one of the few ways I have of coping with things, is coming up with more stories. Fine, soon I'll put you in the recording. I soon. So devilishly handsome. So something else I wanted to mention is that I've been in the same topic as working on stories. I've been working on a story that doesn't fit for a role-playing game. Um, 
been working on it for the past couple of years, trying to solidify the story in my head, but mostly in the past years when I've been heavily working on it. And <sighs> Silly kitty. If you get too close, you're blurry. Then nobody can see how beautiful and handsome you are. Anyway, um, I've even come up with a title for the story, but I don't know if it's going to be a book or a video game or maybe even a visual novel. Unfortunately, I'm not so great when it comes to drawing. My style of art is more in the way of design or writing or role playing, basically, or acting. I'm not... I kind of grew up being told that I was a terrible artist. I'll go ahead and rotate the camera back. I grew up being told that I was not a good artist. Um, my drawing skills were terrible, and to be fair, they are. But being a kid being told those things, I basically stopped trying. So I don't really have anything in the way of artistic skills because, well, I've never really tried. Hey, soon, why are you trying to eat the camera? <sighs> Silly kitty. Um... So, I also don't really know too many people who are that great with art. Ooh, I'm sorry, kitty. Did not mean to bop you in the nose. Uh, so, it's really hard. In my mind, the best way that my story would come out would probably be a visual novel or an action role-playing game, basically. Oh, tail's getting fluffed. There must be another kitty outside. Uh... So yeah, uh, my story would fit more visual novel or actual action role-playing. I don't think it's long enough for a full novel. I'm not sure because I haven't committed enough to paper. And that's actually something I'm thinking about working on this weekend, uh, depending on weather. Because if it's really nice weather, I'd rather be outside. It's beautiful outside today, and I wasn't able to enjoy much of it. I, I can try writing this as a book. I've never really written anything lengthy in a long time that wasn't, like, how-to manual or, yeah, really just how-to manual or my role-playing system. And I'm kind of scared to do that because, well, I don't have an editor. I don't have... I have people who are willing to read it, but that's because they want to read it because they like reading my work. They like the world that it's in and so on that's not because they want to read it or they probably do want to help me but it's not because they want they are an editor they're doing it because they would get entertainment out of it kind of like reading a fan fiction basically only in this case this is a fan fiction of my own thing so it's not really a fan fiction that's just fiction um yeah i don't know where i'm going with this it's it's a story that's been in my head for a long time, and I want it out of my head, and I want to share it with other people. Right, Kent? Oh, You love me. And I love you too, Isun. Isun, by the way, is from... Uh, he was named by Creature. Uh, my partner, and Isun, the name comes from Okami directly, but it's the little boy or the little man, and Isun was so tiny when he was a kitten, he was so much smaller than Zone, and his ears were huge, but he was my little boy, and he was so devilishly handsome, who else could he be? I, I love the fact that Theater came up with that name. Well, what do you think, Internet? Should I write it as a book? Um, does somebody know somebody who can do um, visual art? That's probably going to cost a lot of money. Because I would want to make sure that they're compensated for it. It's important to do that. But um, whether that be 2D art for a visual novel or animations and so on for a video game, I don't know. I know not too many people watch this vlog, but for those of you that do, tell me what you think. I'll see you tomorrow, Internet. In case if you ever wondered, 
he is still on top of me, and I'm actually editing the video right now. Ah, kitty. Uh, I guess I'll cancel the render and throw this in. You are incredible, Jason. I love you dearly. And yes, you can hear his purrs in the video. <laughs>